So finally I had a little bit of time to take a walk in the city. I think this is a great city. I think this is a this is a great city, good city. El Guapos. We're getting in. Good to see you. How's life going? Good? Okay. It's lunch time. I'm really hungry. It just shows you, man, anything is possible if you're not protesting. Protesting. Blaming. Resenting. Angry. They just consume the host. They consume the host, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They consume the individual. Stuck in the past, you can't create the future you want. If you put all your attention on the future, you can end up with stuff you, you're like, you can't, you can't even personally make sense of. You're like, this is ridiculous. I mean, this car is ridiculous. And if anybody knew why I bought this car, okay, why I decided on this car, November the 8th, 2016, I, I, I purchased this car, I actually leased it because you know how I feel about buying them. Mm -hmm. They don't provide income. The only thing good about this as an asset is that my ass sits in it. Otherwise, it's not an asset. But it does make me feel good when I when I when I open it up, when I turn it on, when I light it up. I mean, it, 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 I keep the, the little the little whatever this is called the nighttime thing. It reminds me of my dreams, reaching for the stars. Yeah, gotta find things. You know, it, it, if that's all it does for me every day, it just reminds me to keep reaching for the stars. Then that will be the car will be worth it. It's like my tenant tenex comfort shoe, my little links here they just the reminders little reminders little gimmicks i use to remind me to reach for the heavens <laughs> for the heavens where the legends live the legends live in the heavens in their mind it's expansion I'm not talking about the law of attraction now i'm talking about the law of action you know because you know to do something stupid like this and let me say this is stupid totally ridiculous Completely unnecessary, over the top. It, but it is a symbol of the results of tremendous amounts of action, or actions, as I say. Many, 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 many tens of thousands of actions. So, I like my car, man. I like this thing. It's white on white. It's so white. It's so white. I could eat rice in here and lose it. White rice, not brown rice. So we're going to the Diplomat Hotel. I'm getting ready to go speak to 800 salespeople. 850 salespeople probably in this room, all trying to figure out how to sell the product. Many of them stuck in resentment. Commissions aren't big enough. The margins are too low. The customer takes too long. Competition's underpricing me. Customers make decisions and then unwind. All those things that I went through. Dirty. Ah.
Are you late? Are you late? Oh. Alright, cool. Did you record anything today? No, nothing today. Okay. I'm actually done. I finished last night completely, so I'm just hanging around and studying for finals since those start tomorrow. Okay. When I was buying that Camry, and before the Camry, by the way, it was a truck. It was a Toyota truck, a little Toyota truck. I think the famous was 199 And before that, it was a 1970 Ford Maverick. No heat, no door handles. Okay, the windows, the only thing, the way I had to get out of the car, I had to unroll the windows. And I took the door handles off one night because I was pulling into a bar. This is back when I was lost in resentment and anger and blame, and I was a victim. I pulled into this bar one night and there was no parking places and I thought I could make it fit, so, um, I thought if I just go fast enough, it'll make the car skinnier, believe it or not. And, and, and I went in and I scraped between these two cement posts and sure enough, I lost my door handles. Anyway, this 1974 Maverick, true story, Lake Charles, Louisiana, in Louisiana, the pit of Louisiana. Humid, hot, and no air. Okay, winter's cold. Cold because it, it's wet down there and no heat. Man, look, my life was so bad. Life was so bad. It was bad. But you know what? I made that life bad. Because I was stuck in how unfair life had been to me. I lost my dad. I lost my brother. I lost a girlfriend. I was beat up all the time. People in high school didn't like me. I didn't fit in. I mean, all I did, I spent all my time looking at how unfair life had been to me. And the more I did that, it reminds me of these kids protesting around the country right now about the president. The more I protested, because trust me, there's a lot more people protesting every day. You, you don't need, you, you know, people don't need uh, to lose a presidency for people to protest. You protest when you wake up in the morning and you don't want to go to work, or you hate your job, or you hate your boss, or you hate your customer, or you hate the economy, you hate your marriage, you hate your kids, you hate, you hate yourself. I lived first 25 years of my life, I lived over half of the first 25 in that position, a victim. And the more I acted like a victim, the more the world validated me as a victim.